Hello everyone, this is Remlays on 40k Theories, and welcome to this new episode of 40k Lore for Newcomers. For this episode, nominated on Patreon by Darks, we will be taking a brief look at Lord Inquisitor Torquemada Cotiers. This video will be a brief overview for certain events that may be explored in greater depth within additional videos in the future. So without further ado, let's begin. There are amongst our Ordo those who say I seek advancement for my own purposes, and they are correct. My purpose is to destroy the demonic, and if I must command an entire sector to do so, then so be it. I am a servant of the Emperor, and only those who consort with Warpspawn need fear my ambition. Torquemada Cotiers is an inquisitorial lord of the Ordo Malius and the current High Protector of the Formosa Sector. Like many other Inquisitors, Cotiers is not only a strong follower of the Imperial Cult, but he is also a highly trained and powerful Psyker, who will utilise his abilities to smite those tainted by the powers of Chaos. While few, if any, records exist in regards to his early life, Cotiers was noted to have already been a highly feared and respected individual, famed for his ruthlessness, dedication, ambition, and spiritual purity. However, Cotiers' rise to prominence would come following the events of the assembly known as the Conclave of Varov. The former High Protector of Formosa, Inquisitor Laredian, would convene this conclave after coming into possession of a crystal that contained the bound essence of a demonic entity. Laredian would go on to state before the other representatives from the Ordo that such an artifact could be used to locate cults dedicated to the Ruinous powers, as well as aid in their destruction. But as Laredian continued with his lecture, Cotiers, disgusted by the suggestion, would make his way to the centre of the auditorium before shattering the crystal with his demon hammer. Cotiers would then proceed to denounce Laredian as a heretic and blasphemer that consorted with abominations, ultimately declaring him as Extremus Diabolus, a crime punishable by death. The other Inquisitors were enraged by such a flagrant disregard of protocol, with various reprimands and castigations being levelled at Cotiers. Undaunted by his peers, Cotiers would produce an hourglass and declared that his words would indeed be proven true before the sands within ran out. Laredium was, understandably, furious at Cotiers' accusations, but nonetheless sought to defend himself. During the course of this impromptu trial, it would be revealed that the Redian had not only sanctioned the creation of entities known as Demon Hosts, an act that is regarded as being borderline heretical in its own right, but that the Inquisitor had also made frequent use of tainted relics during his operations, in addition to acquiring and reading various heretical tomes. Laredian would ultimately be found guilty of his crimes, with Cotiers himself executing him and launching his remains into the heart of a nearby star. In recognition for his actions, Cotiers would be appointed as the new High Protector of Formosa, and before long, Cotiers would rise through the ranks of the Ordo Malius before becoming an Inquisitorial Lord. While many of his peers find Cotiers' ambition and swift rise to power to be somewhat objectionable, few will deny the fact that the Inquisitor undertakes his duties with nigh unparalleled zeal and unwavering devotion to the Emperor. Some may question your right to destroy 10 billion people. Those who understand realize that you have no right to let them live. Over the course of his long career, Cotiers has rooted out and destroyed numerous Chaos cults, either with the aid of his ever-swelling retinue or alongside one of the Imperium's numerous military forces. Such notable campaigns undertaken by the Inquisitor include the Logramar Rebellion, the purging of the Madarian Nebula, and even the purification of the Agrippina Sector during the course of Abaddon the Despoiler's 13th Black Crusade, which saw the Inquisitor take command of a number of warriors from the Grey Knight Space Marine chapter. After eliminating a heretical cult upon the Forge World of Glavoda, Cotiers would be gifted with a familiar in the form of a twin-headed Cyber Eagle, which not only acts as a secondary set of eyes and ears for the Inquisitor, with which to monitor the battlefield, but can also be used as a conduit through which to channel his powerful psychic abilities. 
Another notable series of campaigns undertaken by Cotiers would be the repeated cleansings of Apridia. In 956-M41, the hive world of Apridia would come under assault from chaotic forces dedicated to the chaos god Nurgle, resulting in widespread outbreaks of disease across the world. Upon learning of the demonic presence upon Apridia, Cotiers would lead a strike force to the world, and during the ensuing conflict, the Inquisitor would personally banish the Plague Lord, commanding the demonic hordes. While the Taint of Chaos was thought to have been utterly expunged from the world, this was not to be, as Apridia would experience another demonic incursion only 16 years later. The demon prince, Kapathi the Occluder, would seek to conquer the world of Apridia for his own ends, and would forcefully transform over one million of the world's citizens into demon hosts. When news of this second demonic incursion upon Apridia reached the Inquisition, Cotiers would accompany warriors from the Exorcist chapter to purge the Taint of Chaos from the world once and for all. The exorcists would succeed in casting out the demons from their hosts by undertaking a mysterious ritual known as the Rites of Detestation, and Cotiers would succeed in finally banishing Carpathi back into the warp. While Cotiers has spent decades rooting out the taint of chaos and purging all things demonic, in more recent years, the Inquisitor has begun to realise that his age is slowly catching up to him and fears that it is only a matter of time before his work in prosecuting heretics and traitors will end unfinished. To this end, Cotiers has begun to search for a way to prolong his life, be it rejuvenative treatments, cloning, or another potential method to extend his lifespan, be it Imperial or Xenos in nature. While the Inquisitor realises that his wish could easily be granted by summoning a demonic entity with which to bargain, Cotiers remains steadfast in his morals, refusing to indulge in such temptations, despite a small, nagging part of his soul wishing to do so. Whether he will continue to do so, however, remains unknown. And that concludes this edition of 40k Lore for Newcomers. If you liked this video, consider supporting us on Patreon for more content. To those who are new to 40k, we hope you learned something. So leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.